Sias kwam in 1968 aan de macht toen het land onafhankelijk werd. De revolution, zo called, eet up a lot of people. A lot of people died, were killed for fantasy reasons. The educated people, people could be arrested for wearing glasses. It became a, uh, one of the worst places in the world. Macias noemde zichzelf het unieke wonder van Equatoriaal Guinea. He once actually had uh, political prisoners crucified on the airport road, so that when you know diplomats would come driving in from the airport, you you would actually see, uh, you know, prisoners uh, crucified. In de Black Beach gevangenis werden gevangenen vaak doodgemarteld. Veroordeelden werden binnengebracht, tegen de grond gedrukt en op hun schedel geslagen totdat die geheel verbrijzeld was. Crushed, yes, with iron bars, usually by other prisoners. Directeur van de gevangenis was de jonge Theodoro Obiang. Hij wist dat andere officieren en ambtenaren waren vermoord wegens verzet tegen Macias. Obiang, I think, felt that he was also perhaps going to become a target within this machine and rose up against his uncle, overthrew him. Macias werd berecht in een bioscoop. Soms werd hij in een kooi opgehangen aan het plafond. President Macias, at that point in time, was perceived to be a, a witch doctor or he had some magical powers. And, and this is all a way to neutralize that. Macias dacht dat zijn macht voortkwam uit een mensenschedel, afkomstig van een van zijn voorouders. So he believed in his own magic yeah, he powers. Did. He did. In the same way that ordinary people believed yeah, in he those did. powers. He did. Het unieke wonder werd geëxecuteerd. Zijn enige erfenis was de magische schedel van zijn voorouder. Who now has the skull? At this point in time, President uh, Obiang is the possessor of the skull. Being the leader of, of the Fung tribe and of the Mongo Mongoma clan. My immediate impressions of him was he's very soft-spoken, he's very intelligent, and uh, he is intellectual. And not the evil man that the media has always made him out to be. When we arrived to power, the country was completely on the top. I can tell you that at the capital, we didn't have even electricity. Il n'y avait pas une euh, euh, boutique, il n'y avait pas de services. Les hôpitaux, les écoles, tout était très mal. Et redé un pays complètement euh, détruit. De skyline van Malabo is aan het veranderen. De waterleiding wordt verbeterd. Sloppenwijken worden geruimd. Maar aujourd'hui, il y a un changement transparent. Le pays est en train de se développer extraordinairement. Maar er is nog steeds geen echte oppositie en er zijn geen echte verkiezingen. He rules by intimidation. The rule of law is what the head of state wishes it to be since he controls all aspects of the mechanism of law, from the appointment of judges to their demise, uh, to who's going to be charged, how the case will go, and so on and so forth. Uh, prisoners oftentimes, and I've seen this happen, uh, will be filed out before that, as the trial gets underway, and still bear the marks of uh, very, very strict, uh, very uh, debilitating torture. Vorig jaar mocht de speciale VN-rapporteur voor marteling het land in. It's certainly one of the worst countries that I have seen. The prison conditions, in particular the conditions in the police detention facilities, is as such inhuman and degrading. Hij hoorde over marteling met elektriciteit. 
You just have to look for the red battery, that's what they always said. Uh, and then again, I had to overcome certain resistance, but finally I forced my way into the judicial police offices and there was the red battery. They described exactly what kind of cable sticks they have been beaten up. Uh, the forensic expert could see uh, the traces, the marks on the body. At the main police station in Butta, when we arrived the second time, armed military personnel immediately said, you're not allowed to, to enter here. And I said, but uh, we, we want to visit the head of the police station here. It's an official visit of the United Nations. And he said, I'm not arguing with you. I have no orders to talk. I have only orders to shoot you. Uh, so that was a fairly strong threat. De regering zegt dat er niet gemarteld wordt en dat er geen corruptie is. Maar honderden miljoenen dollars aan olieopbrengsten zijn beland op de privérekeningen van Obiang en zijn clan. And it's been an ongoing uh, criminally based or virtually criminally based uh, uh, regime since its inception. In a, cr a criminal state, that's a pretty harsh thing to say. Yes. Op zijn verjaardag lijkt Obiang, omringd door zijn getrouwen, onaangedaan door alle kritiek. Je crois que euh, on parle de détournement, de blanchissement de l'argent, mais je sais qu'il y a beaucoup de problèmes au niveau de l'Europe. Il y a tous les problèmes que on critique aujourd'hui sur, par exemple, la corruption. C'est le mot qui vient d'Europe. Ici en Afrique, nous ne connaissons pas les mots de corruption. C'est l'Européen qui vient, le sous-président, qui vient avec le système de corruption pour accuser les mêmes Africains. Er wordt wel wat gedaan voor de armen, maar het is veel te weinig. Het oliegeld heeft Obiang schitterende paleizen opgeleverd. Het inkomen per hoofd van de bevolking is hoog. 31.000 dollar, bijna net zo hoog als in Frankrijk. Maar de meeste mensen leven van een paar dollar per dag. Het is een maffia staat in which all political en economic power is centralized in very, very few hands. And so to make it a more efficient mafia state and one that works better for the oil industry, you've had some basic infrastructure improvements. But there's been very little improvement in terms of the, the, the general citizen. También hay grupo de bastardos. Son aquellos que todos lo ven negro, lo ven mal, y no les importa The World Bank had documented that since the discovery of oil, you actually had a decline in health and education indicators, which is just extraordinary. I mean, there were billions of dollars that, that have, have poured in and disappeared. Nobody even knows where the money is. Maar een paar mensen wilden Obiang beroven van zijn curieuze koninkrijk en zijn reusachtige bodemschatten.